गेट 2014 सेट टू इसी क्वेश्चन नंबर 13 अ कैस्केट कनेक्शन ऑफ टू वोल्टेज एम्पलीफायर ए वन एंड ए टू गेन्स आर शोन इन द फिगर द ओपन लूप गेन ए वी जीरो इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस आर इन एंड आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस आर नॉट फॉर ए वन एंड ए टू आर एस फॉलोज ए वन गेन इज ए वी जीरो टेन एंड आर इनपुट इज टेन किलो ओम्स एंड आर नॉट दैट इज दिस वन is one K A two A V zero is five R in is five K and R not is two hundred it is this one is two hundred okay the overall gain is being asked V out by V in so for NPTEL reference you can refer to lecture number twelve amplifiers of the NPTEL course electronics for analog signal processing by Professor K Radha Krishna Rao Department of Electrical Engineering IIT Madras and the YouTube link of the lecture is given here for useful data you need to know the equivalent circuit of voltage amplifier which has input voltage connected to an input impedance and then the gain AV into VI so the output impedance is like this and this is V out so this is the equivalent circuit of voltage amplifier and a common uh, error that is being seen is that the students tend to take the gain overall gain to be the product of the individual gains for a cascaded connection of two amplifiers which is not true because the loading effect comes into action this impedance this this are in for the second stage third stage and later on stages for cascaded connections act as loads to the outputs of the previous amplifiers right when you will connect this with this then this will become load so this will tend to decrease the overall gain so the product of the individual gains is not the overall gain it is not correct so hence loading effect of the stage amplifier decrease the overall gain correct now coming to the solution it is said two amplifiers a1 and a2 are cascaded like this and the load is being given rl 1 kilo ohm so rl is given as 1 kilo ohm and this is v out this is v in right so now drawing the equivalent circuit diagram so this will be like this an input impedance v in connected with an ri so the gain is there a v 0 into v in so let's name it a v01 into v in and then r01 that is output impedance of first amplifier and then we have the voltage v let's name it v in 2 because this will be going to the next amplifier and this is r2 r in 2 or ri1 this is ri2 this is the gain of the second amplifier a v02 into v in 2 and this is the output impedance r02 and this is the Im impedance that is connected load rl and this is v out so the v0 by v in is being asked in the problem v out v0 can be determined by voltage division rule as a v02 this into v into this is the voltage multiplied by rl divided by rl plus r0 this value of v into can again be written as by voltage division a v01 into v in multiplied by ri2 divided by r01 plus ri2 so now v0 can be written as plugging this into this we can write a v0 equal to a v02 into a v01 okay into rl into ri2 into v in divided by rl plus r02 into r01 plus ri2 so again that is v0 by v in is written as a v02 into a v01 into rl into ri2 
divided by rl plus r02 into r01 r output 1 value is 1k r output 2 value is 200 ohms right the input resistance value ri2 for the second amplifier is 5k and the gains av01 and av02 for 1 and 2 are given in the problem as 10 and 5 respectively so 10 and 5 now putting this value here v0 by v in equal to av02 into av01 which is 10 into 5 multiplied by rl into ri2 rl is 1000 into ri2 which is input impedance for the second amplifier which is 5000 divided by 200 plus 1000 because 200 is the output impedance for the second amplifier and load is 1000 200 plus 1000 multiplied by r01 for output impedance 1 so 1000 plus input resistance for the second amplifier which is 5000 so into 6000 now as you see this value is coming out to be 34.72 so the gain is 34.72